Hello everyone, Sigmalator here, and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. Um, I took a bit of time off because uh, I was feeling a bit burnt out, to be honest. But, we're back now. I've got a new webcam, a new ring light. We're all about high production value here at the Sigmalator channel. Right, let's see if I can remember what I am doing. I'll go talk to Ephra. Alright, go do that then. Oh yeah, I can fast travel. That's useful. Looking a real bit washed out. I'll have to mess around with the settings some more. We'll get there though. I deserve to be told. You had no right to keep it secret from me. It's an ongoing investigation. I meant no disrespect. Did Jal know? Of course not. Neither did the human. I could have kept Sam to myself, you know. This is different, not your business. It is now. We need to find the Ket command ship. Tell him the truth about my capture. Moshai, please. It may be our only route to the Archon. One of my men helped the Ket take her, a resistance commander named Venterev. The Archon wanted her knowledge of Remnant Tech, but why would Ven betray her? I don't know. That's why I kept it quiet. I'm working to capture him, make him answer for what he did. You know where he is? Kadar report. My contacts are hunting him. Contacts? You can't trust anyone there. They deserted our cause, our people. And now they're ruled by exiles from your galaxy. Ven may know how to find the Archon and his ship. We can't leave this to a pack of renegades and outlaws. I'm a little new to the galaxy. Where did Ven go, exactly? Kadara Port is a trading outpost. We abandoned it when the Ket invaded. Some of us went back. Deserters, scavengers. They don't support Aya. How did exiles from the Nexus wind up there? Bad luck for everyone. I need the relic that leads to Meridian, and I can handle my people. Let me do this. I don't like it. I don't care. The Pathfinder is right. I'll transmit my files on Kadara Port to your ship. Our traitor could have useful information. We need him alive. That's up to him. Be safe, Pathfinder. As for you, Ephra, we're not done. Ooh, Ephra! <laughs> He's about to get spanked. All right. Oh, we're not quite done here yet. There's somebody there I need to talk to. Oh, I can ju I can just fast travel. I don't need to use the station. Okay, good. That makes life a tad easier. Right, who's over here who needs a chat? Not you. This is game. You took your time with that one. Uh, you. Hello. When you have a mo Pathfinder, this is a tremendous honor. I must express my admiration for all you've done. Crossing the void between galaxies, navigating the scourge to find Aya. Incredible. The odds were against us, that's for sure. Yet here we are, strangers from different galaxies conversing in friendship. Extraordinary. I am Mariko Darej, Chief Phoneron. It's a privilege to meet you. Tell me about yourself. I'm something of a pathfinder myself. I am a celestial observer, charting the movements of stars, planets, and the Scourge. An astronomer? You know the safe routes out there? We deploy satellites that alert us to new hazards and opportunities. But we've lost contact with several key observers. They've simply stopped. I sent a vessel to scan their last known locations, but 
Nothing's been found. Your tempest is highly advanced. I hoped you could aid our search. Yeah, sure, why not? Even Pathfinders need a good map. I'll look into it. I knew you'd understand. I'll provide search nav points. And when I can finally reconcile our charts with fresh satellite data, I'll gladly share all we have. Yay! New skill points. Yeah, we'll get to those eventually. Right. Back to the Tempest. Director Tan, good news. The Angara opened an embassy for us on Aya. That is... a surprise? What are their expectations? They survived the Scourge and the Ket, and rebuilt their civilization. Don't forget it. Appeal to their pride. Sensible. I will gather envoys and send them to Aya. Thank you, Pathfinder. We'll take it from here. Of course you will. species genes. Asari take other species traits. Maybe. That's how we may actually agree on something. Changed my mind. They're nothing alike. APB, how you doing? We were right about the vault on Aya, huh? What a find. And this meridian might jumpstart all the others. I knew hitching my wagon to yours would pay off. So what's your take? Is this Meridian what we think it is? Everything we've seen, each remnant system we've uncovered, is connected to everything else. The bots, the monoliths, the vaults. It stands to reason that activating Meridian will connect the entire network and rekindle terraforming across the cluster. So you think we're doing the right thing? Well, yeah. I like it when you flirt. I wouldn't want you to stop. Have I flirted with you? <laughs> Don't worry, Ryder. I'm relentless. It relaxes me. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Alright. Same old, same old there. Right. At least we managed to save the Moshai. I only wish we could have saved more. Right, let's have a chat. How are you guys doing? Oh, the ship manual's useful. That leg of my workbench needed propping up. If you bothered reading it, you'd know that the Tempest is an orchestra of new tech. You can't just meddle with... I got this ship launch ready in record time, Callo. I know my stuff. And you don't have a shred of respect for other people's. Callo? Oh, Ryder. Sorry you had to hear that. The swelling has gone down significantly, and I seem to be able to talk normally again. Good. Keep me updated, and remember, cool food and liquid only. Nothing spicy. Thank you, Lexi. Is there something wrong? Did you hurt yourself? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just getting over some inflammation of the soft tissues of the mouth. It was dramatic, but ultimately non-threatening. I... What? Have you ever heard of the Lick Test? Back before scanners were portable, Earth scientists would employ this test in the field. They used it to tell rocks from fossils and get a basic idea of their mineral composition. <laughs> you licked a rock, didn't you? <sighs> I was distracted and forgot it was a Helios rock. I do it unconsciously. When I was little, my father and I would go on expeditions. The lick test was a huge part of it. He made science fun for me. Your mother was something of a scientist, wasn't she? 
She specialized in biotics research. Got her start in medicine. I read all about her research and your father's. AI and implants, they achieved so much in so little time. Sam is an astounding achievement. I left my parents back home. They told me they were proud of me and then lived out their lives while I slept. If I were them, I'd be proud too. You came here for the sake of science. That takes courage. Some crazy, but mostly courage. I'm sure they knew that. <laughs> Thank you, Ryder. I needed that. Anytime. Ah, uh, Suvi. What have we got here? Uh, greetings, Pathfinder. My name is Rails. I serve the Angaran Resistance. Some of our scouts have returned with interesting information about the cat that I'm certain will intrigue you. I will wait for you on road. Please come soon. Alright. Uh... Things I'm hearing a gun world, a whole new species. If you could talk on record, you know where to find me. Sure. Right, I've been reviewing all the messages you forwarded from the Angaran populace. It's encouraging to see that even in these initial fa uh, phases of contact, we have supporters among them. Though it's equally clear we have our work out for us in winning over the rest, but I'm confident you're on the right track. I would have been surprised if the Angaran hadn't expressed scepticism. First contact is a complicated situation. And if roles were reversed, I'd be suspicious of them if they arrived in our, on our doorstep. Thank you for passing these messages along. I'll provide they'll provide invaluable insight as we investigate these tricky waters. Indeed. Hello, Ryder. Quite the rescue. The Tempest, uh, Tempest isn't intended for these kind of operations, but she's performing splendidly. Not that I encourage you risking your life for stress tests or anything. Still well done. I spoke to the Mosai when I happened past Medbay. She left an impression, I must say. Patient but remarkably driven, it's easy to see how she withstood the pressure of torture and that place. Sometimes I wonder what my people could do with a bit more time and to be patient. Who knows? Uh, Gil worked for 42 hours straight, ships humming, called it quits to get a little shut eye, but I'm wide awake here. Figured I'd use the time to practice my poetry. Didn't know I practiced poetry? Neither did I. <laughs> Probably because I don't, but here goes. Uh, Helios, are you healing us? Or will we regret ever coming? Because the cat are forever bumming our space. <laughs> Wait a minute, is that actually good? Or has uh, the analytical sphere of my brain fallen asleep? <laughs> Uh, you know how I'm out here searching for me true purpose? Yeah, poetry ain't it. Helios, are you hearing us? Sheesh. <laughs> oh dear. You Scott, Ryder, the most I sent some news from Aya that she asked me to share with you. Under her guidance, officials... Are, oh god. <sighs> Under her guidance, officials are uh, again allowing... <laughs> Under her guidance, officials are again allowing study in the Eye of Vault. It comes with great risk, of course, so she's restricting participation to her brightest students under armed guard. Although she doesn't have your ability to interface with the Remnant, she wants to be ready to assist you, however she can, once Meridian is found. These are interesting and exciting times. Uh, so we do, I heard about what Leon's planning. It seems like a great idea, even if things are unsettled at the moment. I'd love to help out. Stop by when you can, Suvi. All right. Liam says he's planning a movie night. That's the idea. He's putting it off because it didn't seem right after seeing the exaltation facility. But now there's a delay. I had a thought. Every vid's better with snacks, right? I found an Angaran recipe for these little morsels you can make from a local Helios plant, but it's rare, and... You want me to look for one? Oh, would you? I'd love to, you know, be social and things. Alright, cool. Find a plant on Aya. Alright, we'll do that on the way back. Anomaly on sensors. Okay. 
Pretty sure you went here before. Ah, nav points. That's what that's about. According to that astronomer on Aya, a satellite should be here. I'm not detecting anything. If it was here, it's gone. You mean destroyed? I mean, gone. Destruction would leave debris. We've got nothing. Let's try another nav point. Yep, yeah, nothing here. Alright. We've got Kadara over there. Let's head over here first. Since we haven't been, to, we've been ignoring Haval. This is home. Our ancestors came from this system, from Haval. It looks so small from here. Anomaly on sensors. Right. Launched. What have we got here? Getting a scan. Excellent. All right. Get these planets scanned. You've got nothing. Anomaly on sensors. Here we go. Deploying probe. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Well, we'll be having that. Anything else? Hey. Anomaly detected. Right, what have you got? More minerals. Getting a scan. All right, no, just XP. You're done. All right, cool. Now we can go to Haval. There we go. All right. Help scientists. Tyrion Ark recovering the past. Friend or foe. Oh yeah, I don't have uh Oh it's updated the uh colour scheme already, so that's fine. So I just don't have uh Pathfinder stuff. For me for me legs. Fair enough. There we go, that will do. Sending the nav point for Darpalev. That's where the Moshe's team should be. It used to be an Angaran town. There'll be landing pads and good sight lines for a safe approach. Anomaly on the sensors. Something big, possibly hostile, taking evasive action. Wait, I don't think his... Uh, 
Ah, the flying dragon things. They are big. Well, that's something you don't see back home. Nope, definitely not. Like sky whales. Bringing us in. Well, you take. Why is it telling me to go back this way? Oh, okay, so. Something I need to do something here that's off planet. But as we're here, we shall proceed. Whoa! Look at all these plants. The vault must be fully operational here. It is beautiful, but the wilds can also be deadly. We'll see what this planet has to offer us. Hello. That's... Whatever's up here, not letting me look at it yet. Whoops, not what I intended to do. Knock, knock. An incredible find out in the field last week, a shuttle for before the scourge surfaced down in the ravine. From afar, it looks like the crash rate is remarkably, remarkably preserved, especially to have withstood hovels and elements. I know Kieran tasked me with studying the monolith, but maybe I could make my way down there and check it out. Just a peek to see if there's anything for Baylor. Hello. I heard the advisory that you'd be out here. It didn't prepare me to meet you. The name's Ryder. I'm with the Andromeda Initiative. They say you want to help us. I wonder what you're prepared to do. If it gets me on your good side, I'm in. That's reassuring, assuming you mean well. My name is Rochelle Veer. I'm an archaeastronomer. I study our ancient cultural records for stellar phenomena. I piece together lost knowledge of ages past. My goal is to find undiscovered colonies we lost contact with, potential allies against the Ket. You think there might be Angara worlds you don't know about? That's what I was trying to learn. Then this happened. I was away when the disaster struck. I thought my home was destroyed and all my research with it, but I just learned part of the building survived. I'm trying to recover my research data, but the wildlife won't let me near my old home. These house guests, I assume they're of the hungry variety? The structure has become a breeding ground for insects and predators. Too many to face alone. Your work is too important to lose. Let's get it back. I'll provide my home's location. Just recover my research materials from the computer. I'll remain in contact with you by com. Thank you for this. You're welcome. Let's go talk to this one over here. 
Uh, Kieran? Jar, we heard about the Moshai's rescue. I'm so relieved. We were all worried for her. This must be the Pathfinder Rider. I am honored. Where's the rest of the team? Ryder has experience with Remnant. We might be able to help their investigations. You haven't heard? While the team was exploring the monolith, something went terribly wrong. They were caught in some kind of Remnant stasis field, frozen in place, unresponsive. I know how to work Remnant tech. I can help you. We've tried everything we can think of. I suppose it's worth trying this. The exactly. monolith is not far from here. See what you can do, but be careful. We don't know what triggered the stasis, and it may happen again. All right. We've got that to do. Read that data pad. Uh, good to hear the cat ha uh, haven't reached a research post. We're not so lucky here. They're practically swimming the old temples, trying to dismantle the remnant tech. We're trying to fight them off, but even with the resistance resistance reinforcements there are just too many of them commander called the retreat i know you had your eye on those temples but there's nothing we can do we're closing the area down no one goes in and nothing comes out be careful kieran it's a tough world out there Dude, thank you so much for bringing this to my attention a crash like that well preserved i'd give anything to see it i'll see if i can send someone capable to check it out it'll probably be well protected and please make sure Torvo doesn't hear about it. I know he'll want to take a look himself and he's not equipped to deal with the danger involved. I'd never forgive myself if he got into trying to help. Stay safe over there. Wishing you sunny skies. I'm sure you heard about the attack at Site 7. The loss of Dr. Verishav was a blow to the entire science community and now many of Site 7's researchers are dispatched and in need of a new post. Most will head to Aya for recovery, but some want to continue working here on Haval. I recommend your camp as suitable tra uh, transition point. I know resources are thin, but your site is the only one the cat have ignored. I don't want to put these people in danger so, so soon after they witness the death of their superior. I'm sure you could use the help on your monolith project. Think it over and give me your response tomorrow. Uh, you're safe, right? I heard the cat attack the old city again. I know you're on the other side of the planet, but that's still too close between the wildlife and the remnant. Haval is a dangerous place. Uh, Marley and Nesta worry about you. I worry about you. Your work is important, I understand. But promise your old mother if the resistance tells you to evacuate, you'll listen. None of this knowledge is worth the risk nonsense. I mended too many of your broken bones when you were young. It's time to give me a break. This is your mother who misses you. Aww. I've attached the data gathered from our efforts on Aya to, uh, to map the scourge. We found a few irregularities during our research. Dust mostly. But you may want to look into it. If the material isn't a match for any worlds in Helios, it it would support your theory on Connolly worlds. This is all speculation, of course. You'd need to send someone out there to collect samples. I figured it's worth a shot. If we're going to solve the mystery of our past, we need to work together. Hmm. All right. Oh, hello. What? Is everything all right? You seem distressed. Oh, uh, would you like a reward for that astute observation? <sighs> You're that alien visitor that came to Aya asking about our vault. You've heard of me. Who hasn't? When strange new species turn up, reports spread fast. After the cat, can't be too careful. Luge Anson, historian with the repository of history, Aya. Listen, if there's nothing you need, could you go away? I'm busy trying to get transport off this cursed planet. Why did you come here from Aya? Kieran's team found some remnant relics while digging around the old ruins. I was sent to collect them for the repository. 
It shouldn't have taken more than a day. But things never go according to schedule, do they? You don't seem to like Havarl very much. Havarl's other regions suit me just fine. But here... Oh no. I don't do well in this fierce wilderness. <clears throat> you think these shelters keep you safe? They don't. Woke up this morning and found a thorny vine wormed its way into my bunk. I'm stranded here because a branch pierced my shuttle's power core. Oops. You mentioned remnant ruins. Are there lots of remnant here? Yes. If you'd been out in the jungle, you might have seen some of it. We think the ruins were part of a vast remnant complex. We've seen evidence of hallways that wound through the area both above and below the ground. Generations ago, our people took shelter in what we found here. That's how Palef was established. Were there no hostile remnant machines? None, according to the histories. We found artifacts, of course. Bits of things that we could study. But they say it was like moving into an empty home. I won't bother you further. Very well. Watch out for plants while you're out there. Vicious things. Alright then. Ooh, data pad. Established in the shadow of remnant buildings, uh, Palev was the centre of trade and learning. Anyone who wished to observe working remnant monoliths was directed here. Deep within the tunnels of remnant ruins, we could hear the hum of mysterious machines, their purpose unknown. Scribbled in the margins, too dramatic, this is a history book, not a thriller. Note to self, mentioned that the entire Dar was overtaken by the jungle, with the only thing still standing being a small restored area. That's used as a research outpost. Also mentioned the remnant areas were still told to avoid. Uh, Nevea Sabe by Tavern for Ellen. Right? Okay. Ah, yes. Some Activate of these off. Activated forward station deployment. Another one over there. Blimey. We've got a bunch of stuff over there, a bunch of stuff here. Let's head over to you then. Oh. Well, there it is, I'll take it. We'll be scanning these to make sure there's nothing new. Watch out for Rokar and Garen fanatics that hate aliens. That means you. Charming. Here we go. I know you told me not to go near the ancient crash site, that service, but I had to give it a shot. You were right, too difficult to get there. Remnant chased us off before we got halfway down the ravine. Hopefully you can get here yourself. You were always good at dodging those machines. But I don't know how safe it'll be with those outsiders roaming around, the spiky ones. Have you seen them? I don't know how to feel about it. I got off track. The point is you were right. We're still studying the monolith, but I'll let you know if we find anything. You can mention in the in the repository. 
Alright, he's talking about Tyrion's. The road cut, whatever they're called. Oh, hello. Got all. No, we really haven't. Did you pick that up? Thank you. Whilst it's a play, so I'm a bit rusty. going on Done. They're not new. Fine. Right over here.
Alright. Alright, good roll. It's topped up again. Can I not get down there? Doesn't look like it. Well, at least we've got the uh, forward station there. Another way down. Ah, bridge. That might be the ticket. I bloody hope so, Jesus. Entry is full, please deconstruct the straw, sell items for it. Ah! over here. Now I could use the map to make sure but I'm just following all the markers. Find the Turian camp. There we go. Who said that? Oh, 
Alright, I can't talk to you. I've got to be able to talk to one of you, though. The survivors from the Ark. Datapad. Uh, new entry. Another attack by those things. The aliens can't go two days without an ambush, and it, and if it's not them, it's the damn plants poisoning us or destroying whatever equipment we can uh, scavenge. I keep wondering about the other arcs. Maybe they fared better in the mounting a rescue. Just hope it's not it's not the humans. Arrogant bastards will never let us forget it. Uh, there's something wrong with this planet. Plants sprout up behind you. The trees whisper, and I swear something other than those aliens is watching us. Thanks, spirits, for the spectre. If we survive, it's because of uh, Avatus. Turian leader, hello. Ah! Shot to the gut. Painful. I appreciate the help back there. Name's Avidus Ricks. Sorry if my methods seem extreme. Civilian life is trying. Scott Ryder, human pathfinder. You former military? A specter. Special tactics and reconnaissance. Did the council's dirty work for 15 years. So you're used to being above the law. Well, good thing there are no laws in Andromeda, huh? The initiative was my retirement plan. Then Natanus hit the scourge and bam, woke up here. What happened? Where's the Ark? No idea. Had to break out of my own damn stasis pod. A fall like that should have killed you. Now those pods are sturdier than they look. But most of the Turian population is still missing. Including Mason, our Pathfinder. Sam hasn't transferred to me, so he's alive. Just don't know where. He hasn't made it back to the Nexus. Knowing Mason, he's out there looking for me. Mason dedicated his life to Andromeda. He's too stubborn to die now. We need every Pathfinder we can get. The debris and stasis pods from Natanus are scattered across the sector. Between the two of us, we should find something. You go left, I go right? <laughs> something like that. Here's my frequency. Call when you find something. Hey, good stuff. I can't believe this is really happening. Thought we'd be stuck here forever, or until the aliens killed us. We built this camp from what remained of our stasis pod. If we leave, we can't abandon our wreckage. There's debris we couldn't get to out there. We have to take it with us. Anything from the crash belongs to the initiative. It'll go back to the Nexus with you. Good. No telling what's still intact. Don't want hostile aliens using it against us. If you find anything from Ark Natanis, tag it for recovery. Oh, and thank you. You're welcome. Anything else here? I'm gonna take all your shit. Oh, memory trigger. Yes, I'm. Definitely saw that. Another eidetic trigger, Sam? One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. Cool. Oh, hello. what was that? Uh, found more Nintendo survivors today, along with, so, uh, along with some not so lucky. Still can't believe the sturdiness of those pods. I remember Mason rambling about the ingenuity of their engineering but he's always excitable when it comes to those things now i wish i paid more attention learned the ins and outs of the pod's design tore one apart trying to make a communicator but it's all wires to me mason would know what to do how to help these people survive 
I can point a gun and keep them safe, but that's it. I need I need him for real leadership. And so do I. Right. Right. Yeah. They tend to do that. Ryoka really don't like aliens. Oh, hell, what's that? Ah, uh, nickel. But whatever this marker is, I can't get to it just yet. But hey, we found some Turians, so that's good. Ah, you were the thing that went off. Okay. I did wonder. Right, hang on. Right, no. I'll take the platinum, but I thought that might have been a way up. No such luck. Here's the way down. I've just noticed the time, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma later. This has been Mass Effect Andromeda, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.